Hey guys and welcome to Petroped and welcome to a beautiful sunny day here in West Sussex. Now today I need to go on a bit of a road trip because I am off up to Edinburgh to visit my mate Paul at Criterium Cycles to do some very very exciting stuff for Cycle Sunday and I have the new Audi S3 Sportback behind me that will be my chariot for the next couple of days so I reckon we get packed up and head off to Edinburgh and put this car through a bit of a kind of long range road test. Now then, driving all the way to Edinburgh is a pretty lonely thing, so luckily I will be joined by my best mate, next door neighbour, general cycling oppo, and cameraman Dan. And we are COVID free, aren't we, my we friend? Are. We've both yes, tested. we've both yeah. tested this morning. We are negative, and he's actually had his jab anyway. So there you go. And we're filming. But you've got some kit to put in the car, mate. I have. So we're going to be taking Dan's bike um, just on the off chance to see if Paul might do a bike fit for you. <laughs> or <laughs> at, le at least see if it's um, okay. So there's Dan's bike. So we're going to stick that in the car. It's also a very good practicality test. So let's get packing. So we're pretty sure it's going to be a front wheel off job uh, because the space and obviously we're taking very important provisions just in case this filming is uh, is tough work. So should I move the beer out of the way? Now look at that. See this is practicality test number one. Now we did have to take the front wheel off but there is loads of space in there. However Dan has very short legs. <laughs> <laughs> I have a much higher seat post than that so I would maybe just about get my bike in but we'll find out on the way back maybe. Anyway. I reckon that's enough and um, we'll finish our packing and see you once we're on the road. We are on our way mate. Indeed we are. Oh, what a lovely, day. lovely day, dry roads, nice so, car. So we have been driving a while but we do have 429 miles left to go. <laughs> <laughs> Six and a half Only. hours. It's about a seven hour drive if we didn't stop. Clearly we're going to stop because your lovely wife Karen has made us a packed lunch. Uh, well it's more than just a packed lunch, there's a whole bag of food. <laughs> Excellent, good, right. Superb. Uh, I've zeroed the trip so that we can see what the economy's like um, at the moment because we're on a nice bit of road, I'm in small mode. Uh, and I shall be sharing the driving mate because thanks to the lovely guys at Audi you are on the insurance. I'm looking forward to giving this baby a go. Because no, you used to own an S3? No, an A3. Ah. Yeah. So oh. I'm looking forward to just yeah, yeah and, enjoy this one. Then. And it was you know it was running on tractor fuel as well. So oh, it was a so diesel S3. A, a diesel S3. Yeah. Oh, you're going to love this then. Four wheel drive, 300 horsepower. Nice. Yes. Now, but you do have a cyclist injury, don't you, mate? I do. Yeah. Yeah. Why have you got I, a you pillow? Know. Oh, do you know? <laughs> Were you doing some do. rad downhill mountain okay. biking? If only I was. <laughs> this story is both embarrassing and frustrating because. You and I do hundreds of miles a year on our mountain bikes yes. and our road bikes in the summer. Yeah. The the weekend, you know, the weekend just weather was good, nice and dry. Trying to encourage the kids to get a bit more exercise and get off their Xboxes. Yeah. So I decided to go out as a family for a nice little ride on Sunday three weeks ago, and doing zero miles an hour down a track that I am so familiar with, I could you know do it with my eyes closed. Uh, looking at the scenery, not looking at where I was going, ended up down a tractor hole and went over the handlebars and have actually snapped my collarbone. Oh. So, the, uh, the, so, for me, the cyclist injury I fear the most because you've got your feet clipped into the pedals, you lose the front end of the bike, you go over the handlebars, and the first thing to hit the floor is your shoulder. Yeah. And that normally is your collarbone gone. Yes. Hour and a half in, I reckon a coffee, mate. And Never say no. And a wee. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's an age thing. <laughs> that's definitely an age thing. This set of services at the top of the A34, just before you get on the M40. I've stopped here, probably my most frequently, because it's perfect. Wee Police distance reported from ahead. Oh, there you go. Police speed trap ahead. So let's go and grab a coffee. Lovely. What have we got? We've got a wild bean cafe. Mm, quality. Starbucks. Starry books, but I bet it's sharp. Starry Bucks. Can't beat go, go, Starry Bucks. Oh yeah, we're starting to, not flag really, because we've still got like five hours to go or something. So, um, just a little bit, of, oh, just start the car, do that. Um, this car does have Apple CarPlay, but it is wired only. Which is 
can't get the technology these days, you know. <laughs> Here we go. So we've still got <laughs> five hours, 24 minutes to go. So we've been on the motorway in eco mode. Eco? Really quiet, actually. Averaging really... 33 miles to the gallon. Yeah, pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, it's, uh, it's very comfortable, quiet. They're good, they're good little cars, actually. Um, in the sport mode, they are fast and noisy and, and really responsive. I wouldn't drive in efficiency mode um, anywhere other than a dual carriage or a motorway because it just deadens the throttle off so much. It's not actually a very nice thing to drive. Please. Next stop. Hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah, how long can your bladder last with one of these massive coffees? Why do Starbucks do, why don't they just call them small, medium and large? Oh, because, do you know, every person that orders, the, the girl at the checkout has to say, sorry. Yeah. You know, what, what, what do you want like, medium? What size? Is that better? I don't even, is it grand day? And how can grand day be medium? Yeah, and why, should is, be large, why is a small a tall? <laughs> I'm small, you're tall, you're bigger than me. How does that work? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. So, so Mate. yeah, the custom build thing is, is interesting. The M6 Tiger's totally was literally to no cars on it. Nothing at all. Well, I think we've got a car a crash or um, a closed road head. So we're having a picnic video three, yep. whilst we listen to the Cyber Sunday on podcast. Too My <laughs> darling <laughs> wife has produced a whole host of is, food. Yeah. If I came into your shop and bought an off the peg bike, these guys are good, aren't they? You and it was yeah, the right size, and then you just dialed it into me with a fit. I could probably walk away with that bike that day, maybe the next day. Oh, this is relaxing in the passenger seat, this mate. I know. <laughs> Chauffeur driven. I know. Although it must be quite frustrating because in a car like this, what you really want to do is find a nice A or a B road and give it a good spanking. Yeah, I've never seen so many speed cameras, I have to say. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a shame, but but the MPG is good. It is. We're, we're doing a 35 now. <laughs> I reckon. Yeah. Can we get it to 40? I doubt it. So we are. Yeah, there you go. Uh, oh, look, we're, we're about halfway, I reckon. We're, what, three and a half hours left to go. 220 miles. We're up near, um, just north of Stoke, kind of Warrington Way, I guess, aren't we? Yep. Yep. Um, my my old hunting ground. Also, my family live around here. It's very nice in the passenger seat. It's very relaxing. So yeah, it's, very a, it's a nice position to be in the driver's seat as well. Although I did have to um, bring the seat forward quite a long way. It's because you can order to reach the pedal. Because you're short, <laughs> <aren't> you? <laughs> <laughs> We are now in the lakes proper. Oh yes. Look at this. Stunning, isn't it? I don't know how far we've got to run yet. But uh, let's have a hours. quick check of uh, ways. Uh, two hours. Two hours. Look at that. 140 we're miles. We're going to need to stop for fuel soon. We've only got about 50 miles of fuel. Yep. But we'll probably need another coffee. But it's just stunning. So I used to work up north. So um, I'd always drive up. Uh, my office was based in the lakes. I'd come off at Junction 36, and I'd never been further north on the M6 than Junction 36. Well, this is literally, you know, we're between 36 and 37. Look what you missed out. I know. I know. <laughs> you never, One junction. You never knew what was over the top of the hill, did you? Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? It's beautiful. beautiful. Absolutely stunning. And I must say, your collarbone fracture. Um, Retention device. Retention device is very yeah, comfortable. Is, yeah, it's should have nice. this as a kind of optional extra from Audi. You know, get a get a you know they can, invalid they can, cushion. They can have that idea for free. Yeah, it's very good. We've arrived in Scotland. Hey, hey. we're gonna get my football. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> we are. Um, we've still got quite a way to go though, we've still got 88 miles to go. What's that, an hour and a half? Uh, yeah. yeah. But yeah, we are in Scotland. Notice the weather's got worse and it's colder. And we've moved to... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's raining, <laughs> inbound, inbound hate comments from anybody who's Scottish watching this video. And we've moved from Starbucks to Costa as well, yeah. just to spread but the love. Costa do small, medium and large. Not Makes tall, perfect. grande Monday. and venti... What the... Really? Anyway. So yeah, and also we've swapped seats. <laughs> you needed to use your um, your comfort pillow my again. Comfort pillow, yeah. yeah, yeah. My security blanket <laughs> and my booster seat. But um, up <laughs> news on the S3. 
we are now edging towards 36 miles to the gallon. That's pretty impressive, really. This is it? good. I'm quite impressed. We had to fill up once. We have just filled up, just yeah. Filled up. So, so, so what's that? That's that's West Sussex to almost the Scottish border on one tank of fuel. Yeah, and that's it actually, it, well, I've done a bit of driving in it before, and so it's got about 410 miles of range to a tank, which isn't bad. taking the right exits actually paid benefits mate because we're yeah. on a nice bit of road now yeah so the a17 uh what have we got oh, 40 miles to run yeah i chose the wrong moment what look at this a bit of road look at that chose the wrong moment to put some music on and missed the exit off <laughs> off the motorway but what that means is we can have a play with this s3 this road's awesome <laughs> you be watching you had your motorbike by yeah, I really do, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a long Sp way to come on a motorbike by the Sponsored by Triumph. Yes, your street triple. It's a long way to come it's on a motorbike. It's a long way to come on a motorbike, yeah. That would not be an easy journey you to put it on a trailer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there is a lot to be said for doing long road trips on a motorbike, but those kind of motorway journeys oh. just, you know, dull, dull as and, and what you'd actually need is your old bike your 1200 BMW yep. to do the long to journey the there long journey, and, and then, then your street triple once you got here. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so we less than 40 miles to go. Yep. I have to say, you know, six or seven hours in this car has been really I'm fresh quite... as Daisy. I don't have a number at all. No, I mean we either. stopped every hour and 50 minutes or so yep. just for a, a break and coffee and a driver swap. But yep. It's been really, yeah, really it's been good. very pleasant. I'm a feeling though, if this road continues as it is, my average MPG might start to degrade <laughs> yeah. somewhat. Yeah. So we are at, we are at 35.8, but I've now gone back into dynamic mode because why, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. Right then. There's only one thing for it, and that is manual gear changes. What a road. driving in Wales recently they do have some pretty special roads and I'm pretty sure that I mean clearly I'm sure Scotland have far better roads than this but it's not bad <laughs> yeah just keep your eyes on the road I'll do the scenery you do the road yeah all right okay <laughs> oh wow man makes this such a good car for me is it's brilliant on the motorway it's super comfortable it's mega practical you can get loads of stuff in it especially this sportback version yeah it's way more practical than the saloon but when you get it on an open piece of road like this it's it's a stonking car yeah oh, it sounds it doesn't you know it's not harsh is it no. it's got loads of grunt and loads of stability but it's not a not a really harsh ride no and because you've got the, the quattro and you know, you've got so much grip and lots of go and it does it's got nice those noises aren't going to come <laughs> up on camera but it's like popping and burbling and stuff I've only seen pictures of it, and the last time I was up here, uh, he gave me a secret preview of where it was going to be. Dobby's Garden, Dobby's Garden World. Garden World is it? Yeah. We've been in this car now for what, about eight hours, I suppose. Yep. And I feel fresh as a daisy. Yeah, it's no, amazing. It's, yeah, not you know, not a numb bum or a sore no, back. Because I think the perception of this car, because we were meant to have a much bigger car. We were meant to have an RSQ8, but that had that's had to change, and we're gonna, I'm gonna get one of those uh, at some time in the future. And I thought, what? Maybe a bit 
this small to do such a big journey? Absolutely not the case no, whatsoever. Not the case, no. It's not, you know, you might think of an A3 stroke S3 as a car that you can't do super long journeys in, but we've just done well over 400 miles, been in the car for eight hours, and I feel fresh as a daisy. Should we go down? Let's go down in here. And as, as there's nobody around, we're going to literally drive across here. And I'm going to park in the disabled space just so people can see, and then I'll back up. Look at that, people, that is Paul's new shop. Now, whoop, whoop. I reckon we go inside, but we're best park in a non-disabled space first. Otherwise, we'll get you out of that. Morning, all. Morning. It's mighty early, <laughs> very early. Now, spring forward three days. You can tell what I've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> Eating by the looks of it. Oi! <laughs> um, so it's very early in the morning. It's actually only about um, quarter to eight. So we have spent the last uh, two days, two and a bit days, filming for Cycle Sunday. We've done so many films, haven't we? <laughs> hours and hours and oh, hours. Oh, mate. Literally seven in the morning till ten at night for the last couple of days. Now, um, what we're gonna do on the way home, because we nearly hit 36 miles per gallon on the way home, but we did drive in efficiency mode pretty much all the way up from like the last 40 miles. So on the way home, we're gonna go in dynamic mode all the way home, and we're gonna see what the difference is. Does efficiency mode really make a difference? That's a good test. It's a good that test. It's a good test. And I've been really, really generous because we know, having talked to Paul, that this first 40 odd miles is like a proper mega road. Jealousy is high right now, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> what an amazing, amazing road. Laughing, but... I mean, we are kind of driving through a cloud, but. surface isn't great. No, it's not. So what are your thoughts of the S3? Do you know, I've not been a massive fan of Audi. I've, I've had plenty of Audis. Yeah. I was always very happy with the car, but it was the way the dealers just, you know, the yeah. dealers dealt with me and, and, it, and it turned me off and I, you know, I moved away from Audi. Um, to Jag. To Jag. But you cannot you can't fail to be impressed by the engineering of them. They're, it's no. such a balanced car. Like yeah. I said to you earlier, it's a long time since I've driven a four-wheel drive car, but you definitely, definitely feel the grip. Yeah. Definitely. And I think now, poor road surface, it's a bit damp it's now, bit damp, yeah. basically driving through a Scottish cloud. I think this is what the Scots called Drich. 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 Um, and it is very Drich. But you've just got you've got that confidence to get on the gas and, and have the have the traction out the corners. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And you're in manual at the moment, aren't you? So we're in dynamic oh, yeah. mode, sport box, manual. Playing with the flaps. Yeah, playing with your flaps. Driver change. But we needed to report back. So we just this is we're just leaving T Bay services at the very, very top end of the M6. Firstly, that view is absolutely stunning, if there wasn't a motorway in the way. I reckon we've just eaten, I've certainly just eaten the best bit of food I've ever had from a motorway services, ever. ever. Yeah, <laughs> and, and it's a, you know, it's a, it's a services with a view, look at that. Yeah, that is beautiful. So, now we're both veggie, so it was a halloumi, avocado, and sun-dried tomato, bap, toasted bap. Oh my days. Delicious. I feel like we've had the full tea bay experience. I know. Now we are very nearly at the bottom of the A34. We've been going a long way, but we've only got 40 miles till we get home. Yep, an hour to run. <laughs> but the really interesting thing, so our efficiency mode versus dynamic mode test. So on the way up, in efficiency mode, all the way up, all the dual carriage of M motorway, this journey's mostly dual carriage of M motorway, yep. apart from the first 25 to 30 miles and the last 40 miles. We averaged about 35.8 miles per gallon. In dynamic mode, we're currently averaging 35.6. <laughs> so it's 0.2 Two. of a mile per gallon different. And I find that fascinating. Yeah, I guess to an extent, you're not going to get the 
benefit of a dynamic mode on the motorway. No. But, but it you gave it some Yahoo on that. Yeah. On that. Yeah, on that first on that first 25 miles or so, that was yeah. you know good fun driving, wasn't it? Yeah. So it's an interesting one. Soon efficiency mode for me when you get off of a dual carriageway, it's quite dead and throttle, and it's not a particularly pleasant mode to drive in. And and clearly dynamic mode when you get off the motorway, you're gonna you're gonna use more juice. But I just you know normally on a longer journey, I stick a car in efficiency mode, and, and you know it doesn't drive any differently. But the numbers bear out. Yeah, it, it really doesn't. Um, and actually, the long term trip of the car that we've got running, so we've done over 840 miles and we're averaging the long term trip is 35.3 Interesting It's not bad that is it? Yeah Really? Yeah So we've not got long to go I shall report back when we're nearer home yep. We are nearly home So I thought we would draw this video to a close up the newly remodelled <laughs> short of trees petrol ped hill climb <laughs> At least the view's better uh, Yes you can see a lot better so I guess our final impressions on this little S3, well I've spent quite a bit of time with one anyway. They are brilliant, brilliant cars. But they've surprised you as well, hasn't it, mate? It has, yeah. I said right at the start of this video that I've, I've had a bit of an issue with Audi in the past and, and you know, I'd struggle to go back to Audi. This car's what, 40 grand-ish? Yeah, just over 40 grand aspect. And I have said to you, not 10 minutes ago, that if you gave me 40 grand and said, there you go, Dan, go and buy yourself a car, yeah. I'd have to say that this one would be on the list. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, we've just done the best part of a thousand mile round trip. Yeah. We're half an hour from home, feel absolutely fresh as a daisy. Yeah. We're 425 miles and seven hours and 22 minutes in today. Yeah. And I'm... Yeah, feel feel good. Yeah. It's, you know, it's, a, it's an easy car on the motorway. It's not noisy, it's not bumpy. But when you want to have a bit of a fiddle and a bit of a play, it's... It's good, good fun. <laughs> good fun. <laughs> yeah. It's just a shame that we ended up in that fog on the. Uh, I know. The top well, end you of had the journey. The, you had the fun this morning, don't we? Yeah. You had the best run. Anyway, guys, um, I hope you found that one. Ah, <laughs> that's your <laughs> that's missus. <the> wife. <laughs> <laughs> that's Mrs. H. Um, I hope you enjoyed that one. If you have done so, please give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. Massive thank you to Audi UK for letting me play with this car for the last couple of days. It's been really good. Keep an eye out on Cycle Sunday for all the content that we've just spent the last two days creating because there's a lot of it to come. Uh, and I'll see you on the next film, guys. But you take care. Drive safe.